I was supposed to. By now, I was supposed to be done with my PhD in economic philosophy at U Chicago. I had published my dissertation. But then Bobby Axelrod put a promise of mentorship, a meeting of the minds, a kinship of ideas, and a way of seeing the markets I've never felt before. And so much money in front of me that I just, I never even called the professor I was supposed to go work with. I just withdrew from the program. You wish you were at the place fun goes to die instead of making jillions solving unsolvable puzzles every day. I never thought I was the kind of person who would be tempted by all this. And then I told myself that anyone, everyone, would lose a piece of themselves for this. It made me able to justify what I did. And then here I was. And it was the perfect chance to conduct an experiment, a test case. Part of you wants me to make the escape you couldn't, but the other part wants me to stay, to prove to you that no one can resist a clarion call. I'm on the wrong side of our generation. Even just the four years between when Axe put the choice to me and her. Now, yeah, you're old, I'm not. But I'm not sitting here like I'm better than you. Fuck. <laughs> you chose something sturdy and real and where like you could land. I'm still floating. That's what I've been thinking about since we last talked. I'm caught between. Really? I don't want to go work in the Ford plant for 40 years like a rivet head. Knowing I'm really in something? Yeah, that seems good. I'm gonna ditch the catering company. Good. But I can't let you just go and do it without warning me what else you need to be ready for. What else one gives up to go on the journey? Oh, so what else do you give up? Nights, weekends, holidays, your world will become a series of data sets, line items on a PNL, everything broken down into basis points. And your victories will not be the money, the thing that anybody can measure, the stuff they can't begin to appreciate, looking beyond what's quantifiable, the subtle refinements, the elegance of success. Work with the catering company, then buy it, turn it over to my friends. Nice gesture. They won't appreciate it, but at least you'll know you did a good thing for them. Your real friends view as they may be will get it. And the ones that don't, don't have the capacity to be the kind of friend you need. So instead of friendship, you have to use work to fill the void? I guess I do.